in this video I want to do some uh, achieved level questions uh, that can be asked at level 2 and I'm focusing on simplifying algebraic expression so my focus is to simplify algebraic expressions so let's start with a simple question okay so the question is say like this say 2p to the power 4 to the power cube times 3p to the power 3. So how do you simplify this? So you have to apply the rule of indices uh, to open the bracket. So here, well, you should understand 2 has a power of 1 and 3 has a power of 1. That's one thing that you need to understand. And secondly, when you've got power of power, you multiply the power. So the first step would be like this, 2 to the power let me write this like this 1 times 3 and p time p raised to let me put this in the bracket 4 times 3 so that's the first step so that's how I open the first bracket so second bracket simplifies the same way applying the same rule so 3 ta 3 raised to 1 times 3 and p raised to p has a power of 1 here yeah. so it's again 1 times 3 so if you go through the simple steps, it's easier. So this becomes 2 raised to 3 times p raised to 12 times, so let me open the bracket, 3 raised to 3, p raised to 3. So ex if you expand this out, what is 2 to the power 3? Well, that's 2 times 2 times 2, so that is 8 times p to the power 12 times... 3 to the power 3 is 27 times p to the power 3. So let's group the numbers and the letters separately. So this is 8 times 27 times p to the power 12 times p to the power 3. So you can simplify this and simplify this. So 8 times 7, so let me get my calculator out, 8 times 7 equal 50 or oh, 8 times 27 sorry it's not 8 times 7 it is 8 times I know 8 times 7 is 56 so 8 times 27 is 216 so this is 216 times when you uh, when you have two expressions or two power forms you add the indices so this is p to the power 12 plus 3 I'm doing more steps so that you understand those are struggling to get an achieved at level 2 NCA. So this is 216 p to the power 15. And that's all. This is your final answer. Okay, so let me do one more question here. Okay, I can't draw a straight line. So this is question number 2. Okay, so how can we... Do? Next question. Okay, so this is slightly difficult so this is x cube plus 4x squared divided by x squared minus 16 so this is algebraic fractions and this is again where students struggle to do the right thing over x squared plus 8x plus 16 plus 8x plus 16 so First step is we can we can factorize. So how will you factorize the top? Well, what can you factor out in the numerator? Well, you can factor out x squared. So you have x x squared times x is x cubed plus four. How will you simply how will you factorize the denominator? Well, this is difference of two squares. So as it is x squared, you have to have an x in both the brackets, and you want negative sixteen here, so plus four negative four. Okay, minus 5 over, again you have to factorize this, so start with x and x. Now the two factors of 16 which gives you 8 are plus 4 and plus 4. Okay, so now what can you do? You can simplify, you can cancel the numerators. You've got x plus 3 here, x plus 3 here, so this gets cancelled. So what is remaining? This is 
x divided by x minus 4 minus 5 divided by x plus 4 x minus 4. Now you have to treat this as two fractions and when you're simplifying fractions uh, you make the denominators equal. So I can see an x minus 4 here and an x plus 4 x minus 4. So if I want to make this denominator same as this, what should I multiply here? Well, I should multiply by x plus 4. If I multiply this denominator by x plus 4, I'd also multiply the numerator by x plus 4. So this becomes, so the denominators are equal, so you can take away the numerator. So this is x times x minus 4 minus 5 divided by x plus 4 x plus 5 or x minus 4 x plus 5 doesn't matter so now let's expand the bracket so this becomes x squared minus 4x minus 5 divided by x plus 4 or x minus 4 x plus 4 now can you factorize the numerator well I can the two factors of negative 5, which gives you negative 4, are negative 5 and plus 1. So it will be x minus 5 times x plus 1 divided by x minus 4 times x plus 4. And that's all. You can't do this in air, simplify this anymore, and this is your final answer. Okay, and uh, let me do one more question where you have to simplify and write it as a positive index. Okay, so let me do a one more question. The question is like this. It is simplify. So let me write the question. Simplify uh, say 6m to the power negative 2 to the power 3 divided by say 2 2m cubed to the power 4 and you want to write this leaving only positive index so the question is leaving simplify leaving only positive index you don't have you don't want a negative index you want all positive okay so how do we do this same approach First, let's simplify the numerator. So the power of 6 is, the, the index of 6 is 1. So using the rules of indices, this is 6 raised to. So 1 times 3, I'm going, going to do this directly. 6 times, 1 times 3 is 3. m to the power minus 6, or negative 6, divided by 2 to the power 4. 2 has an index of 1. So 1 times 4 is 4. m to the power 12. So this is equal to 6 cube, I know is 216, so 6 raised to 3 equals 216. So if you don't know, you can do this. So this is 216, m to the power 6, sorry, negative 6, divided by 2 to the power 4 is 16. So 2 to the power 4 is 16. So this is 16 over m to the power 12. So you can simplify this and this. So let me do 216 divided by 16. So let me do 216 divided by 16 is how much? It's 13.5. So I can write this as 13.5 times when you are dividing powers you take away the index so this is negative 6 take away 12 so this is 13.5 13.5 you can also write this as 13.135 uh, over 10 so 13.5 is enough times m to the power negative 18 now this is a negative index now if you want to change this into a positive index this is same as writing 1 over m to the power 18. So this, I'm going to write this as 13.5 divided by 1 
times 1 over m to the power 18. So this is a rule you need to remember of negative index. This is in the sitting in the numerator. So if the numerate if the index in the numerator is negative, it flips and comes in the denominator and becomes positive. So this is one rule good to remember. X to the power negative n is equal to this is this the denominator is one is one over x to the power n. This is the rule that we apply. So let me give you one more example. So if you have 2 to the power negative 3 means this is 1 over 2 to the power 3. And now you may ask what is if, if it is 1 over 2 to the power negative 4? Then this becomes this is 2 to the power 4 over 1. Okay, you can check this on a calculator. You'd go 1. So let me show this. So this I hope you can see. See this, this is 1 8 which is 0 0.125. So let me explain that. So if you go, go to run menu, menu run, 2 raised to negative 3. The calculator will give me 0 0.125, which is 1 divided by 8 is 0 0.125. And if you go 1 divided by 2 raised to negative 4 will give you 2 to the power 4 is how much? 16. So this will give me 16. So 16 is the answer. So the final answer is 13.5 divided by m to the power 18. So if you know simplify, that's one skill that is checked or tested at level 2 NCA.